On Sunday the 7th of September there will be a total lunar eclipse. It's going to be visible to most people in Europe, Asia, Africa and Australia and parts of South America too. From where I live in the UK, the eclipse will begin when the moon is below the horizon, but about 20 minutes later, at around 7.30, the moon will rise and it will be visible until the eclipse finishes. To work out when to see the eclipse and how much of it will be visible from where you live, you can use interactive eclipse maps. These will give you the best idea of how to view it and you can find those online. The moon orbits Earth every 29.5 days. During a full moon, our planet sits between the moon and the sun so that all of the moon's face is reflecting light towards Earth. But because the moon's orbit is slightly tilted compared with Earth's around the sun, the three bodies don't always line up in one plane. When they do, during a new moon we get a solar eclipse and when they line up during a full moon there is a total lunar eclipse. During a lunar eclipse, the moon moves into a shadow cast by Earth. This is why the moon is always visible during an eclipse. It just appears darker and redder because the light that still reaches the surface of the moon and is reflected back at us has passed through Earth's atmosphere, which scatters most of the wavelengths of light apart from red. Unlike a solar eclipse, you don't need any special protective equipment to view a lunar eclipse, just a clear sky. Once you know when to look, find the moon and watch it darken and redden. And you might want to see how it looks through some binoculars too.